Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and I do a little bit of weight lifting. Devil, devil. Uh, you might have guessed it, I am in the gym. Currently putting my shoes on. And uh, today I thought I would share with you guys my like beginners like top tip like what I would coach in the first ever session of someone doing weightlifting. Like the most basic thing that will like take you really really far in weightlifting. So before I get into it make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up because this kind of information isn't for free guys and also subscribe to my channel because a lot of exciting stuff happens here and you don't want to miss out. So yeah let's get into the video. So what is this ultimate secret you ask well it's like so simple but equally so underrated like people often forget about it because it's like so simple it is hook group my friends that is without a doubt the first thing I would teach as soon as someone steps into the gym to start learning weightlifting and the reasons are as follows so I'm actually back home now because um, I missed a rep in the gym And I think it was just like I needed to get my mind focused on my actual session so I thought it'd be best my undivided attention to make sure that you get this amazing information delivered straight to you no interruptions no nink and pooping about you're welcome so hook grip is actually um, pronated grip so that means like pronated is like palms facing towards you and it's where the thumb is trapped between let me show you this way it's where the thumb is trapped between the bar and your fingers now it can be um, your first two fingers or just like one finger it depends on the size of your hand I'm super super lucky or unlucky whichever way you prefer to look at it that my hands are absolutely mahoosive literally like world's biggest hands so I can pretty much get like three fingers between my fingers and the barbell pretty phenomenal but obviously it depends on the size of your hands this is your hands no is that a song i don't know so yeah the thumb is wrapped around the bar and then fastened 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 in by your fingers so essentially we're gonna get all anatomy wordy here your thumb is the supinated grip because it will be wrapped around the bar that way and then your fingers are the pronated grip. So you may be asking yourself, Hannah, why is this so extraordinary? Why is this step number one to teaching people how to lift? It's just a finger and some thumbs. No, it's just some fingers and a thumb around a bar. Well, people, it is much more than that. So much more. You, if you are a regular gym goer, you may have seen that some people like to grip bars in different ways. So hook grip is an extraordinarily secure way of holding onto that barbell so that you do not drop it until you are finished with your lift. You do not drop it. Extraordinarily secure. The most important part for me especially is that you are able to maintain control on that bar. So the bar doesn't roll in your hand, it doesn't move, you don't let go and you can just maintain the mind-bar connection or like body bar connection throughout the whole lift because you know where that bar is because you are gripping onto it with hook grip and you know that hook grip isn't gonna let you down. You can hold onto it and you know where it is and it just helps with like meeting the bar, I find. It just maintains that control of the bar during the most explosive part of weightlifting because obviously you are exerting a lot of force into that bar, an extraordinary amount of force. So you need an extraordinary grip to match that force. Do you get me? What's also super important and super relatable to weightlifting is that hook grip because it's such an extraordinarily extraordinarily secure way to grip onto the bar. You can therefore relax your arms a bit more. No one likes an arm puller. I'm an arm puller, but let's not talk about that now. And you don't have this tendency to like feel like you need to really like So typically hook grip will be really, 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 really really uncomfortable if not considerably painful at the beginning and it will take a lot of getting used to but it is so vital to be able 
to then to be able to hold on to that bar so that you can then get it overhead and actually do what is called weightlifting. Like for me, it made a massive difference because if once I realized that using hook grip meant that I would always know where the bar is, meeting the bar becomes a lot more natural. Hook grip for that reason is, is so great and so essential for new lifters because it just means that you then learn how to control that bar. You're probably thinking, cool, I know I need to use hook grip now. That's amazing. Hannah, you're amazing. I'm gonna like and subscribe to your channel because that sort of information just isn't given out for free, so I'll make sure that I like and subscribe. I know that's what you're thinking, don't worry, don't worry. But you're probably also thinking, well Han, how do I train this magical hook grip? Well, that's the... I'm gonna say hard part, but it's not really the hard part because, well, everything needs practice, people. You literally need to use hook grip every single day, all the time, forever. You're holding onto a cup of tea, Hook grip. You're doing accessories. Hook grip. You're using a dumbbell. Hook grip. You're doing a pull up. Hook grip. Whatever you're doing, you need to hook grip. That's for sure. And that is literally the only way that you're going to be able to get through the first part of excruci uh, excruciating pain. The only way you're going to get, be able to get used to it and then eventually it not hurt anymore and it just be like another day. So yeah, hook grip guys, that is all you need to know. If you are a beginner, just make sure that you are hook gripping that bar every single time. I promise you it'll be worth the pain and I promise, you know, this stuff, this kind of, this, this kind of knowledge adds like 20 kilos onto a total. I hope that was helpful and insightful and you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel because I post pretty much every other day. And you don't want to miss out on that kind of content. Have a great week of lifting. Do your best. Try your hardest. And I'll catch you back here for another video. Hey,